Why, hello YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer. So, I got Masterpiece Bumblebee recently. He's a nice little car, fashioned after the original Volkswagen Beetle, and he looks great. Before I got him, though... Yes, I... Okay, I accept that. Before I got him, though, I looked up several reviews because I was curious about something. And do you know what I heard? When you take a look at them, they are scaled absolutely perfectly. Yeah, I think that makes pretty good scale over there. I like how this looks. So they are relatively uh, in scale, if not perfectly in scale. Here he is with Wheeljack and Lambo. And, I mean, he... Yes, it's to scale. It is. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle. It's a very, very small car. Does this car look at all in scale with the rest of the crew? Look at your Bumblebee. Now back to this. Now back to your B. Now back to this. Sadly, Bumblebee isn't this. But if he would stop going by the cartoon and switch to the real world scented scaling wash, he could look like this. Look down. Back up. Where are you? You're still watching this rant. So suffice to say, I've constructed a scaling chart in 3ds Max using data I obtained from a website called carcompare.com. You can go there now if you wish and cross-reference my work if you feel that I'm completely wrong and that this chart is way off base. Either way, let's get into this. A Volkswagen Beetle is 4,000 millimeters, 400 centimeters, 4 meters, or 12 feet long, roughly, which, believe it or not, is longer than the Lancia Stratos Turbo, which was 370 centimeters, which works out to be roughly 11 feet. I'm noticing a considerable discrepancy here. And that's basically what my rant is about. Masterpiece Bumblebee is ridiculously underscaled in terms of the Masterpiece line, and they had so much going for it before. So that really gets me. What's even worse, though, is every major reviewer I've come across that goes over scale completely ignores all this and says, Oh, the Beatles are really small cars, so this is perfect scale. You know what's a small car? The Stratos. That car is super cramped and has been covered so many times on various car shows about how tiny the interior is. Stuff from Top Gear all the way down to CarReview.com. And yet every major reviewer for that particular Masterpiece Wheeljack review said they loved how big Wheeljack was. That he was in perfect scale. Here's the chart I drew up earlier. I plugged all the numbers into 3DS Max and overlaid blueprints to match the height, width, and length dimensions. And this is what the MP line should look like if the cars were all in scale with each other. The closest ones that get it are the Lamborghini and the Datsun molds. I threw in the Corvette C5 there to show the comparison to the Alternator's line, a line I appreciated for striving super, super hard to be in scale with each other, in proportion, and doing their best to look like cars that would actually work as models on your shelf. It's just a shame that their robot modes had to suffer because of it. The funny thing is, though, through this comparison, Masterpiece Wheeljack ends up being in similar scale to Alternator's tracks. Ironically enough, he just needs to be a smidge taller, and it would work near perfect. So here's my thing. The Masterpiece line is not in scale with each other. You have undersized seekers, oversized cassette tapes, undersized boomboxes, oversized lanchas, and terribly undersized Volkswagen Beetles, which, when the inevitable cliff jumper gets released, a Porsche 925, a car roughly on par in size to something like Jazz, watch it'll get strength to perfect scale with Masterpiece Bumblebee. <sighs> so if these figures aren't at scale, what is? Plain and simple, it's the robot modes. These figures are meant to scale together in robot mode with the vehicles as an added bonus that they're all cars together. But who gives a flying pig if they're all correct, right? To some aspect, I kind of agree in a way. Most people have these characters in bot mode displayed on their shelf, and some people have them in car mode. Or they buy a second one for car mode because they bleed money, apparently. So yeah, best make the robot modes accurate, I suppose. It just really ticks me off when everybody and their dog says... They are scaled absolutely perfectly. Pretty good scale. Perfectly in scale. Yes, it's to scale, it is. Uh... Anyway, that was my rant. I will review Masterpiece Bumblebee at a future date. I just kind of wanted to keep this rant out of it because I really do love the figure. Like, wholeheartedly love it. It's a perfect Volkswagen Beetle. It's just definitely not in scale. And I, I kind of wanted to shorten that review a bit. So I made this little rant. Anyway, that was that. This has been the Lazy Eyebrow Reviewer.